All right, hey you guys, this is Cobra Awesome, and I hope you guys are enjoying your video games and animation from around the world. Today, I'm gonna continue re reviewing more of the Mario Kart games in honor of the series' 30th anniversary. Today, I'm gonna review the fourth Mario Kart game, and it's called Mario Kart Double Dash. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this game review. Now, I already reviewed this game a couple of months ago, but now I'm going in depth, okay? This game came out back in 2003. This game allows you to choose two characters and from there you're racing like crazy. Each character has their own special items. But check this out. This is the first Mario Kart game to allow you to choose your kart that you want to race in. Because in the past three games... The only kart they had was the pipe frame and that's it. So in Super Mario Kart 64 and Super Circuit, you weren't able to choose your own kart. They only had the, the pipe frame was the only kart available. And also, this is the first Mario Kart to have unlockable characters. So we have unlockables like Piranha Plant and King Boo. And this game has some awesome colorful graphics. I also love when you drift, when you're drifting, you can see that fire spark coming out of your cart. And you just have to say, now that's more like it. Also, this game allows you to play against 16 other players using the GameCube LAN mode. So this was just the beginning of online play for Nintendo games at that point before the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection for both DS and the original Wii. So the LAN mode was, was kind of something online. When I first played this game with my brother, we were so hooked on this game. The racetracks are awesome in this game. Like I love Mario Circuit, Yoshi Circuit, Wario Coliseum, and Waluigi's Pinball. And the music is great for this game as well. When this game was first revealed at E3 2001, you can see the Smash Brothers melee character models of Mario and Luigi driving, and it was called Mario Kart for the Nintendo GameCube. But two years later, at E3 of 2003, it was revealed as Double Dash, and it showed the concept of the game. Now, this is a great Mario Kart game, but this game has its problems. So, <sighs> let's talk about it. The cocksucker AI, you heard me, right? The AI in this game is insane. When you're racing on a 150cc or mirror mode, good luck for you because you will get destroyed by the items over and over and over again. Remember I said in the beginning, each character has their own special items. For example, Yoshi and Birdo has the egg. Wario and Waluigi has the bob, bob, bob. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi has the chain chomp that will run off. The AI will take advantage of using the special items on you. So you basically can't breathe in this game. Seriously. It's annoying. But overall this game is a lot of fun to play. I wish this game had more content just like Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii. And it sold well for the GameCube. So I give this game... A 9 out of 10 it's a it's a great Mario Kart game but I could see that it was liked and disliked by many fans because I'm sure fans prefer like the single cart you know with one character for each you know for each character has their own cart instead of two characters like driving together but man um this game was was huge for its time when it had came out. And I just remember seeing the game cover on the figure book um book and uh then I saw the gameplay of the game. But Mario Kart DS is the first game I played and then I played this game. So this is the second Mario Kart game I played. So yeah, um I really like the the cart designs like I like Mario's cart I like Donkey Kong it's like a barrel um, 
Koopa and Parachupa cart looks nice. Like the it has like a green shell looking type. And this game is is very colorful. Like I just like racing in in like Mario Circuit, and then you could just see like 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 the chain chomp. You, you can see like the piranha plants in the background. You can see a statue of Mario like have his hands over his arms, like just standing there with a smile on his face. I just really like that. So Mario Kart Double Dash is, I would say like it's the best looking GameCube game because it's very, very colorful, you know, with his graphics. So that's it. So if you, if you enjoyed this game review, please be sure to like and subscribe. And did you play Mario Kart Double Dash? Is it your favorite Mario Kart game? If so, what's your favorite racetrack? What's your favorite soundtrack from the game? I want to hear all about it. So that's it for this game review. So take care, guys. Bye.